Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today is Wednesday, so we are going to do a quick video on things I tried this week and what I thought about them. I just have a couple of things. Um, all I think are pretty fairly interesting though, so let's jump right in and get started. The first thing I tried, and I don't have the full size because I just tried it, um, is a sample of the Born This Way foundation. So the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And the closest match for me is Nude. Um, this foundation is, the Nude is a good match for me. It's a little yellow-ish um, for me, but it's a good color, like tone level match. Um, so I use this foundation several times and um, it is not my favorite, I will say that. Um, it has really good coverage, I think. I tend to prefer something a little on the light side of medium coverage. This is much more of a heavy side of medium coverage. I wouldn't call it full coverage, but it has pretty good coverage. Mm, buildable to full for sure. Um, so that's one of the reasons I didn't like it. And the other reason is, for me, it did not lay well on my skin, especially in the areas where I have a lot of larger pores. Um, it, I could smooth it and smooth it and it would look good for a few minutes, but it would definitely settle back into my pores. And then throughout the day, my T-zone was a little bit more difficult to manage. Um, I tried it without a primer, I tried it with a primer, I tried it with some of my favorite primers. Um, and I don't think it's a bad foundation. It's just not my favorite. I wouldn't purchase it because it's not my favorite. Um, it is a matte-ish, I would call it a matte-ish finish. It's much more matte than I prefer. I like a dewier, dewier finish. Um, so if you like a heavier, a fuller coverage than I do, um, and you have relatively good skin, not a lot of large pores, this might be really nice for you to try. But I think for me, um, and I, I used it, I mean, I've had it for more than a week, and I've been, I've tried it with a brush, I've tried it with my beauty blender, I've tried it, you know, with this, uh, you know, this primer, that primer. I don't have any, it's, it's okay, but it's not my favorite on my skin at all, so I wouldn't purchase it, but, you know, I think everybody should try foundations, and um, I'm glad I picked it up and was able to try it, um, but it's not for me. Okay, the next thing I tried was a sample size of the Buxom Mascara. And one of the reasons, a couple reasons I wanted to talk about this. First of all, like, I don't tend to go to the Buxom section when I'm shopping at Sephora, um, which I may never do again. Um, anyway, and I realized that when you choose the Buxom Mascara now, you have a choice of seven different brushes seven seriously sexy ways to work your lashes at the buxom mascara bar so there's seven different brushes to choose from and they're all with this formula vanity lash mascara um, so the one i got is the full and fabulous brush which is described as molded ball tips power through lashes for lavish fullness from roots to ends so where did i put it here we go they come in a little tube like this. The brush that came with mine is a plastic brush, and I don't know if you can see, there's little balls on the ends that help sort of separate the lashes when you when it build volume and separate. Um, if you don't like a plastic bristled brush, you're not gonna like this one. I like this brush because it does separate the lashes, but because it separates and defines them so well, I'm not sure I would say it gives lavish fullness is how it's described. It's it's a nice mascara. I am wearing it today. I try to wear I try to use things and wear them when I'm going to talk about them. It's it's nice. Just okay. It's just okay. I do like the brush for like if you're using a clumpier mascara and you need some separation, this might be a good finisher. Um, but and it's super, super black mascara. I like that. I wouldn't buy this, though. Um, but I like the idea that, you know, they have seven different brushes to choose from, depending on what you're trying to do. Like, there's one called Itty Bitty, so if you don't have many lashes or you like working with a little brush. So, you know, there's a Thick and Defined, there's a Full and Fabulous. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. So, 
Um, I wanted to talk about it because I thought, you know, if you're picky about your brush or you want to try some different ones, maybe go to Sephora and look at all the different brushes. I've never done that, so um, I wanted to talk about it. I wouldn't buy this one, though. Okay, lastly, I used, and I posted this on Instagram the other night, um, I used a Dr. Jart Waterful Hydrogel Mask um, the other night. And uh, let me tell you what this says. Easy to use, single use mask, hydrogel technology, 60% water and hyaluronic acid infused moisture deep into the skin, restores hydration, elasticity, and bounce to the skin, leaves skin smooth and super hydrated, immediate results after one use. So um, I, I really like this mask. Here's why. First of all, it's a two-piece mask, which um, tends to fit different faces better because you know you can put the bottom on and the top on and you don't have you know it's not if you're longer and if you have a longer face it's not pulling down the top and that kind of thing but it's a gel mask and it, you peel it off and you press it on the skin and it stays like you could I think I could go running with this thing on and it wouldn't move so that's the first thing so if you're not someone who can sit down in the evenings because you got too much going on or whatever you could put this on and still do whatever it is you got to do um, and then the other reason I liked it is because when I took the, this mask off, my skin, first of all, there's nothing, it's not juicy, there's nothing running out of the mask, so again, you can be up and around, things aren't dripping off you and that kind of thing, but when you take it off, your, my skin felt exactly how they, they described it, my skin was so smooth and it felt so plump and so, um, so firm that I am going, so I've used a few of these actually. I'm going to save the other couple that I have for um, using before an event. There was no redness to my skin when I removed it. My skin was so hydrated, so plump, so smooth, perfect for doing makeup for an event. Seriously perfect. So I'm going to save these for using before big events and that's what I would recommend them for less than like in the evening I think a better investment for this is to use it before you're gonna go do something when you want your skin to look fantastic because my skin was so it felt so amazing it was so smooth it was just beautiful my pores were all nice and tight um, so what I'm, I'm trying to read more about it for you guys. Um, there's no alcohol in there. There's no artificial colors in here. It's for all skin types. Um, skin is soothed and super moisturized. Absolutely. And it was soothed. Um, reduces the appearance of fine lines and size of aging. Absolutely. When you mask, it is relatively temporary. So that's why for this one, I would say use it before an event. Um, natural extracts infuse water into dry, rough, or dehydrated skin. Yeah, my skin felt amazing and there's tons of water and hyaluronic acid in here which is fantastic for our skin as we know um, olive leaf extract some things I can't pronounce that is supposed to brighten something to soothe cranberry fruit extract to enhance skin elasticity these are wonderful you can get them at Sephora um, you can get you can buy a single one or you can get I think there's five in a box for $40. So they're not super inexpensive, but maybe something to stock up on when Sephora does the 15 or 20% off. And then, like I said, use them before a big event or before you're gonna go to dinner and you wanna look fabulous or something like that. I, I think this was absolutely wonderful. I've used a lot of masks. Um, Martini are my favorite, of course, but this before an event Absolutely. I'm, I, I will be hard pressed to be without these. I'm going to absolutely have these on hand when I want to look absolutely fabulous in my makeup. So um, highly, highly recommend them. So those are my things that I tried this week. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing about them. If you tried anything new this week that you love, please uh, let us know in the comments before, below or if you tried something that just didn't work for you at all. Um, and thank you everybody for the positive feedback on doing these videos on a weekly basis. I think it'll be a nice way for me to talk to you about things that I try that maybe I wouldn't have had time to talk to you about. So that is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again soon.